Hi James, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. From the information you sent, it sounds like you have mentioned that you have always had a bad back. Well, first of all, the, the fact that you've always had a bad back doesn't mean you always have to have a ba bad back. So there's a few things that um, I want to get you started on if you're not already doing. It sounds like you are aware of your problem and that one thing you had mentioned is that you have tight hamstrings. The hamstrings can be a common um, culprit of low back pain because they run up the back of your leg and they insert up on your low back so it will pull your back at constantly if they're tight. So you're constantly in this uh, posterior tilt. So strengthening your hamstrings Stretching and strengthening your hamstrings also really contribute to strengthening the low back. The other thing you mentioned is you feel like you have a weak back, which is part of your problem. The weak back can be addressed in a variety of ways, predominantly strengthening. You had said you've been strengthening by doing deadlifts. Deadlifts is a very, very strenuous exercise on your back, so if not performed 100% correct, with perfect body mechanics it can cause a lot more harm than good as far as strengthening your back that is an exercise that I feel people should do once their back is already strong so in your situation we want to get your back really strong eliminate pain and then you can go back to doing the deadlifts you also have mentioned that you're an avid runner and run regularly and that your back usually hurts when you first wake up in the morning Oftentimes, we don't actually hurt our backs at night. It's that we've used poor body mechanics or that, that weakness then kind of sets in as we take that time sleeping. I want you to look to see that you're sleeping on a pretty good firm surface and that the mattress is not too warped. A lot of times it might take just adjusting and flipping your mattress for better comfort at night that can relieve your back pain in the morning. But I'm going to give you three exercises that I want you to do. Really it's one and then a progression of another. Let's do a hamstring stretch. Each stretch should be held for 15 seconds and you should perform it three times on each leg. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is you're going to lie on your back to do a hamstring stretch. You can lie on the floor or you can lie on a bed. It doesn't matter if the surface is too firm or not firm enough. Um, you just want to be pretty comfortable. Then I'm going to have you grab behind your knee and you're going to straighten your leg, pushing your heel up towards the ceiling and bringing your toes down towards you. So you'll feel a nice stretch down the back of your leg. I'm going to have you hold this stretch for 15 seconds. And you may be so tight that your leg is down here and that's fine. I just want you to feel a nice stretch down the entire length of the back of your leg. So 15 seconds. And then switch, grab behind the knee, kick your heel up towards the ceiling and your toes down towards you and you should feel a stretch behind your leg. And hold it for 15 seconds. So once again, you're going to hold it for 15 seconds, repeating it two, uh, three times on each leg. The next exercise I'm going to have you do is you're going to get on all fours. And you're going to tighten up your stomach so your back is flat. And you're going to hold this surface of your back flat. Um, I like to tell people to envision putting a cup right here on their back and that will help um, stabilize it in the cup if it's full of water you do not want the water to spill on you so your neck should be at neutral you should be looking down not looking up or not looking over and the first thing you're going to do is alternate lifting your arms up but again keeping that back flat and you're going to repeat this 20 times which is 10 times on each arm if you can do that without spilling that water or that cup of water on your back, 
I want you to progress and you're going to hold that position and then alternate legs doing the same thing but tightening your back so you can keep your back nice and flat and stable. Then once you can do this progression of 20 on each leg, you're going to strengthen the back by doing alternate arm and leg, keeping that back as straight as you can. So depending on your strength, you may only be able to do your arms without really dropping and rotating your back. You want to keep your back as flat as you can and neck in a stable position. So if you can do the arms without any problems, which includes pain, then you progress to the legs without any problems, and that includes pain, then you can progress to doing the alternate arm and leg. So the goal is to be able to perform 20 pain-free. I hope that addresses your question. Be well.